Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a super quick, super casual, not really in-depth discussion around The Three Musketeers, or at least the first half of The Three Musketeers. Um, I sort of wanted to do a mid-month check-in with this read-along just to talk about my feelings so far and yeah, to sort of gauge where you guys are at with this book. I know some of you guys have been keeping on track, some of you guys are ahead of schedule, some of you guys are behind schedule. It's totally cool. I'm not going to do like super deep spoilers, but I do understand that like if you're behind, maybe come back when you've reached around chapter 37. And I'm just using that as like an approximation of the halfway point. So reading this book has been a really interesting experience just because I feel like this one is so different from all of the other books that I've read during these sort of August read-along classic things. I knew going into it that it was going to be extremely like plot driven but I'm still very surprised by how like heavily it is plot driven. When The Three Musketeers originally came out like it was put out serially so like each chapter has the feeling of like a tv episode so it feels like each chapter has its own sort of mini arc sometimes that like plays into like the bigger storyline that's happening and sometimes they just feel like their own contained episodes and like legitimately it feels like you're going through like a season of a network television show where there are like 20 something episodes and sometimes those episodes have to do with like the bigger story that they're telling and sometimes the episodes are just sort of like fun little situations that these characters go through and yeah I'm really enjoying it so far. Again it's just been really fun. My one complaint is that it does feel like there's a lack of character development with some of these characters but I mean you can't have it all. Another big surprise for me at least in the first half of this book is that there's been a significant lack of the actual Three Musketeers in the storyline. I didn't realize that this book was about this character named D'Artagnan and his experiences with and around the Musketeers. Like I legitimately thought the story was following the Three Musketeers as they did whatever. But again, I've never read this book before. I knew nothing about this book and I've never seen an adaptation so I don't know like if that was my own naivete or something like that going into this book that I just assumed that but I guess with a book called The Three Musketeers again I figured it was going to be or at least feature more heaven heavily the actual <laughs> musketeers themselves. So one of the things I always do when I'm reading classics is that whenever I finish like a chunk of chapters I go to spark notes and I actually read like the plot summaries and analysis of those chapters after I've read the chapters just to make sure that I actually did understand what was happening in the story and it also provides some context for the chapters themselves and I feel like that's really helpful with this book in general because they are talking about real life people sometimes like actual kings and queens and actual battles that happened between France and England and I don't have that much knowledge about those periods of time and obviously I'm not taking like this as like fact or anything along those lines but this is kind of like a historical fiction book and it is setting itself around these actual events that happen so if you haven't been doing this already I highly recommend doing it. Maybe go back and read the plot summaries or the plot summaries and analysis for like the chapters that you've gotten through so far um, to provide you with some context because I think that spark notes and things like that are really great as a supplement to reading the books themselves because it does provide so much more information that you might not have yourself and you may not want to spend the time like researching what the historical significance of these different wars were during this time period and things like that. Like obviously when this was written for the audience that it was written it would have been like common knowledge like it would have been like someone writing about like World War II or something for us where we have a lot of knowledge about those specific wars and battles and maybe not even specific knowledge about it but we at least are aware of certain events that have happened and so in the same way Dumas is referencing specific wars and battles throughout this book and I think like having a supplement like spark notes to refer to to provide that broader explanation really really does help. So one of the questions that I got on my Instagram post um, a couple of weeks ago I think this was like when the story was just starting so this person's opinion may have changed but she basically just said like are we supposed to be rooting for D'Artagnan and I believe so. Um, D'Artagnan is definitely not like a perfect protagonist by any means of the imagination but I think that he is still supposed to be our hero and I think you see that play out more and more as the story goes on like obviously he does some really terrible things like don't even get me started on him and Kitty and what he does there but I think again he is supposed to be this hero albeit a flawed hero and I think that you are supposed to recognize those flaws as well but again 
it falls into that like nobody's perfect sort of umbrella and I think that in the end he is for the most part trying to do the right thing but again this is all told from a very like French perspective and a very specific perspective because like obviously the people that they're fighting are somewhat sympathetic as well and things like that but you have to kind of remember the context and the audience with this and so obviously like D'Artagnan and the Three Musketeers are supposed to be the heroes, I believe. I mean, obviously I haven't finished the book yet, so maybe that'll change. But I think so far that's sort of the direction that this book is going. So yeah, as of this recording, I'm a little bit farther than uh, the halfway point in this book. And I feel like now that we're in this like second half of the book, the book is becoming more of what I expected it to be. With this whole subplot of Milady and who she really is and what's really going on with her, I feel like this is more of what I expected out of this book. The plot that happened in the beginning of the book while obviously it's still playing out through the second half of this book it felt like sort of a detour <laughs> and part of me is just like is this Dumas just trying to get the most out of his per word or per chapter payment because it didn't feel very relevant and again I just thought that like Three Musketeers would be more a part of the story but now that we're entering the second half of the book I can feel myself like wanting to almost speed through it or like push through it and just find out what's going to happen in the end because Again, all the stuff with Milady, like that twist with the tattoo, and I'm keeping it relatively vague just in case, like, I don't know, someone continues to watch this video even though they're not at the point where they should be yet. Yeah, like that sort of plot to twist was a real, like, whoa moment for me. Um, I made this status update, I think, on Goodreads, where I said that this book was taking some real Jane the Virgin slash telenovela <laughs> plot twist turns, and that was specifically the section I was referring to like everything happening with D'Artagnan and pretending to be I think it was like the Duke to be with Milady and do a whole bunch of stuff like all those like two or three chapters or whatever it was where all of that went down I was like holy cow this is some it re legitimately reminded me of Jane the Virgin and the sort of plot twist that they would do. So yeah, I am having a lot of fun with this book and I'm excited to see just where it all goes. And yeah, I don't have any more thoughts at this point because I kind of just need to see how it's all going to play out before I can have a real reaction to this book. But overall, this is just been a lot of fun. So yeah, that's everything I have for this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys are thinking of the book so far. Um, I can tell that some of you guys are really enjoying it based on the things I've been seeing you guys post on like Twitter and Instagram and things like that. Feel free to continue like tagging me and stuff so that way I can see what you guys are posting. But definitely let me know down below like what you think of the story so far, what you think might happen in the end. Honestly, I have no idea what's going to happen because I feel like this book has taken so many different turns that I'm just like along for the ride and I have no idea where it's going to go next. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.